Aha! I'm Rick Bullamere and today we're mostly reviewing the Lexus RZ450e. It's a luxury compact crossover SUV and we're going to tell you if this is the lease car for you. Now I'm a big fan of legendary broadcaster Alan Partridge and he's a big fan of Lexus or Lexi, plural. Well, since owning a Lexus it's amazing the number of Lexi you see around. And we're going to find out why. Hey look, a Lexus! Uh, hey, it's a better one than yours. <laughs> So, in a nutshell, I've really enjoyed driving this Lexus. Other Lexi are available, but the, the, the smoothness of the drive is, is very obvious. But yeah, it's generally good overall tech and a nice place to be. The seating position got nice high visibility and uh, yeah, another big tick. All models come with a 71.4 kilowatt hour battery, which provides energy to two motors for four wheel drive capability and a WLTP rated combined range of 270 miles on 18 inch wheels. The RZ can get from a standstill to 62 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds and onwards to a top speed of 99 miles per hour. Oh. Okay, we're gonna start off with the steering wheel because it is beautiful to the touch. Whatever material they've made this out of, it is delightful. And you've got a whopping 14 inch screen right here. It also has adjustable knobs here for your passengers, heating and your own heating. You can also adjust your volume here, which is very easy. You can also adjust your volume here. A legal U-turn, dear oh dear, this country. Oh! If you've never seen Alan Partridge before, and this is making no sense to you whatsoever, I apologise. Oh, I forgot to mention, this also comes with a yoke steering wheel in certain versions. A bit like in the Tesla. We haven't seen that yet in the UK, but hopefully it does come to the UK. Moving on, we've got Isofix in the front and the back, which isn't all that common. And speaking of the back, our crew found there was plenty of knee room and headroom for those long journeys. Now, the most efficient way to charge an electric car is with a home charger, a bit like this seven kilowatt Zappi. It means you can plug in there, charge up overnight while you sleep, but you also have a CCS connector here, which is great for fast charging on things like motorway service stations. It's very quiet in here. They must have some good noise cancelling technology in this car. Oh, and the auto steer basically steers for you and also has adaptive cruise control so it matches the speed with the car in front. What lets it down? Beepiness. Yeah, good point, cameraman Cal. It is quite beepy. You know, whenever you're reversing or turning, there's, there's often a sensor or something that goes off to help keep you on the straight and narrow, but sometimes it's a bit too much. This is an interesting little feature. These pointy bits on the end, apparently good for aerodynamics and keeping mud and water off the rear windscreen. Or you could have just used a windscreen wiper. Now this Japanese car is full of collision avoidance software, including a very clever feature. If there's a cyclist coming up on your blind spot and you don't see it, it won't let you open the door. It's all right, there's no cyclist on my drive. Oh, that is a meaty thud. Nice. Now the head-up display on this is particularly good because head-up display enables you to keep your eyes on the road and not look around here and not look around here. And what they've done on this is even when you're resting your finger on one of the buttons, it shows you on the head-up display which button you're pressing. So it's very easy to navigate and just makes everything a lot safer when you're driving. Well done. Oh, it's even got infrared heating, which is more efficient apparently. Once you've got it open, the boot is reasonable and comes with some extra smuggling space for your charging cables. It passed our golf test with flying colours with room for extras. To get specific, the RZ450E has 522 litres with the seats up and 1,451 litres with the seats down, meaning you no longer have to leave your wheelie bin at home during family holidays. Perfect. Is there a fruit? Oh. No frunk or fruit, which is basically where you can have extra storage for your cables and things like that. I've heard a bit of a, a wishy-washy excuse why they haven't put a frunk in here. I just don't understand why other car manufacturers have managed it and someone as big as Toyota Lexus haven't. Ah, I shouldn't get my hopes up. They haven't reinvented the wheel, but they have reinvented the door handle. So if you press there, it's electronic. So push and push. But if your battery does run out, you just pull it towards you and it works like a normal door handle. A lovely feature is this whopping great big sunroof. It doesn't open though, but it does have an opacity button so you can turn that up or down if you want. You've also got a place for your sunglasses, 
not all cars come with that nowadays, but very useful. If I can get it working. And one of the notable omittance from this car is that you don't have a glove box. There's nothing under here, literally nothing there. So you can't stick your user manual. So you have to put it in there. Or you've got these flappy bits here for some extra storage for things like walkie talkies. So who would this car best suit? Well, I think it would be a good family car. It does have that luxury feel to it. I think you've got a decent amount of boot space. You've got a decent amount of passenger space, good on long journeys, not a huge range, but enough. And uh, if you do business meetings as well, anyone that is rocking up to a business meeting is going to feel pretty special turning up in this. And remember, electric vehicles pay no road tax. And if you're worried about ultra low emission zones, fear not, they're ULES compliant. So if you want to find out about this car and many, many more, head over to selectcarleasing.co.uk to find out about all their electric deals. And if you'd like to see even more electric car reviews, head over to Select Car Leasing YouTube and remember to subscribe.